almost as important as your tools, is finding an efficient way of safely holding your project while you work on it. Now obviously there is a certain amount you can do, uh, holding in one hand and carving with a knife or small tools in the other, but it is far safer and saves a lot more time if you can find some way uh, to hold your work securely. Now I shall run through a few options that I've used myself over the years. Now the first method I'm going to show you for holding your work still is possibly uh, one of the simplest methods and it's by using anti-slip mat. It's also known as router matting and this just goes down on a flat surface and then your work goes on top. Now this is particularly uh, useful if you're going to be doing some relief carving. Now once that's on there, the, uh, the friction holds that in place as long as you've got a little bit of downward force uh, while you're working on it and then you can work on that quite nicely. Now another option that can work quite well that is uh, a bit similar to the anti-slip mat is a sandbag and uh, this is a, a leather one but it deforms nicely to uh, more awkward shapes, doesn't have to have a flat uh, bottom to it, whatever it is that you're carving and then that just helps secure the piece while you're working on it. Now moving on to something a little more robust, uh, if you can get hold of some kind of a vice, uh, this can be very useful. Here I have a, uh, an engineering vice that's been bolted quite securely to a, piece, a separate piece of wood and this gives me some, uh, some versatility to it. I can fit that to any bench with a G-clamp like that and this gives me lots of options. It means that you don't have to permanently have something fitted to a bench if you don't want to do that and then your work can just fit into that in that way and you can work on it with both hands concentrating on what you're doing as opposed to trying to hold it in one hand and work on it with the other. Now the vice system that I've just shown you uh, is very versatile but there are many many uh, more dedicated uh, types of clamp designed specifically for wood carvers out there and this is one of them uh, this particular one I have screwed to a large piece of wood and this allows me to fit it into a vise that is bolted to the side of my workbench here. I can fit that securely there. And then this comes with a separate table and uh, this is then screwed directly onto your wood carving. And as they say, this one I have prepared earlier. So that then fits inside the clamping mechanism. Once that is locked off, that's really very solid, won't move anywhere, and again you can use both hands to work quite comfortably on this particular piece. Now, you can do other things with this type of clamp. You can, if you want, just screw one of the tables to a flat piece of wood, and then you can fit that in and again operate it at any angle that you want and you could perhaps put the sandbag back on there and again you can work in that fashion. So the main thing about uh, holding your work firmly is versatility and uh, being able to improvise with what you have at hand.